Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back to kick off the f round three for Group A. Ooh, here we go. Now we're getting deep into the tournament, aren't we? In these matchups, we will see Team Primal Carnage going up against Ultimate Dino King, Ibuki going up against the hosts, and Connor Temple going up against Tor. Um, could be some interesting games here. I feel like this one could be a big match. Because Tor is lagging a bit behind and well. I feel like Ibuki needs to do Tor a favour here and beat me. But I just gotta hope I can beat Ibuki. So yes, yeah, still all to play for in Group A. And well, Ultimate Dino King definitely has a good chance. I mean with me and Ibuki playing each other, Temple and Tor playing each other. It could be a good chance for Ultimate Dino King to build, to build some ground over the others. Right, and that is where we first, and that is where our first match will begin. We will see Team Primal Carnage against Ultimate Dino King. Alrighty then, in the red corner for Team Primal Carnage, we have an Alpha Dilophosaurus. Um, yeah, we've seen what this guy can do. We've seen what this guy can do. It's not, it's not going to be easy for Ultimate this. As it will have the type advantage over this Brachylophosaurus. And just as an FYI, Team Primal Carnage's second dino will have the advantage, uh, type advantage over Ultimate second dino. So this won't be easy for Ultimate, but I do expect Ultimate to get over the line in this match. But it wouldn't be a surprise if Team Primal Carnage does win this matchup. But you would have to say, if Ultimate fails to get out of the group, I would probably put it down to their second matchup against Temple, where they really should have won. Well, there's the move breaker there, nullifying that scissors move. Ties will suit Ultimate Dino King down to the ground. Well, yep, yeah, yeah, Ties will definitely suit Ultimate Dino King more than Team Primal Carnage. Ooh, it's Alpha Dart time. The Dilo getting that crucial hit. Of course, Alpha Dart's damage is set, so it's not based off the damage that the Dino can do. Ooh, it's the Alpha Droid. The big red one. That looks like a Buddha. Emerald Garden getting triggered there. Could that be what Ultimate needs? Ooh, he is getting an Emerald Garden off. Stealing the Dilo's health while regening some of his own. <laughs> Wait, what's this? Oh, Nature's Blessing! Wow, that's a big turn for Ultimate Dino King there. Nature's Blessing and Emerald Garden almost restoring half of the Brachylophosaurus's HP. Ooh, and it's back to move breaking again for Ultimate. Wow, pretty impressive, but pretty impressive by Ultimate Dino King. Ooh, but the Dilo gets the crit. Could that be curtains for the Brachylophosaurus? No, it is not. Ooh, a Jack Shuriken there would have finished him off. But yeah, definitely, given that Ultimate is at the disadvantage here. And slightly in the lead. And an Emerald Garden come in, which will heal the Brachylophosaurus a little bit more. Will Nature's Blessing activate? We'll just have to see. But yeah, definitely very impressive from Ultimate Dino King so far. Oh, no Nature's Blessing, because Dilo died. Anyway, as for Team Primal Carnage's second Dino, we have a Pro Serolophus. And I don't think I need to explain why I picked Pro Serolophus. Um, mainly an attacker dino, to be honest, but that light recovery adds a little bit of resilience, which could be what Team Primal Carnage needs. Well, the Brachylophosaurus would be dead by now if it weren't for Emerald Garden. Oh, and I think the Brachylophosaurus is indeed going to be dead. Yep, the Brachylophosaurus, putting up an impressive display against the Alpha Dino, goes down. And, as for Ultimate Dino King's second dino, we have a Super Talarellus. 
watch out for that Quakesaver. Could deal a lot of damage despite being at a tight disadvantage. And Earth Barrier could make things a little bit awkward for Team Primal Carnage. Okay, the Awaken Mode on three. But if hits come from the Pro Serolophus, this Talororus will not last long. And well, you can see that, yeah. A Metal Wing coming from the Pro Serolophus. And it will deal a little bit more damage than normal because of that type advantage. Yeah, look at that. Half health gone already. Earth Barrier is could be just what Ultimate wants. But Earth Barrier is not what Ultimate's going to get. Instead, the Pro Serolophus is going to get off another Metal Wing. Which should kill this Talaroas. Wow. Decimated in an instant. And as for Ultimate's third dino, we have an Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. Well, it's definitely going to have to pull its weight here because Ultimate is in a bit of trouble. Team Primal Carnage looking very strong. And, and again, I got to point it back to. The second match. If Ultimate doesn't get out of the group, I'd probably say the second match, of course, is the reason why. Of course, we haven't seen the rest of the matches yet, but still. That would be my opinion. If Ultimate doesn't get out of the group, then I'd say that second match up against Connor Temple is what cost him. There's an attack boost there from the Acro. He's going to need to land some hits to take out this Pro Serolophus quick. Otherwise, Team Primal Carnage will be staring down the barrel of a bonus point win. And that is definitely not good for Ultimate. A Metal Wing which shredded the Talaroras. And a Light Recovery to come. Boosh. Oh, not too much health for Restored. Oh, come on. Another Metal... How many Metal Wings is this guy going to get off? <laughs> Well, I think Team Primal Carnage is going to win this match. Yep, that's game over. For oh, it's Dino Stuffer! I forgot about that. The Dino Stuffer has, could possibly have saved Ultimate Dino King from losing. Oh, that's a tie. Ooh, a light recovery coming from the cryo. And an attack boost. Could Ultimate turn this around? <laughs> the pitiful amount of HP. Nope, the answer to that is no. And Team Primal Carnage will get a bonus point win over Ultimate Dino King. Um, well, I... I thought Ultimate, despite be having the tight disadvantage on two of his with two of his dinos, I thought he would pull through. But instead, you'd have to say that the two metal wings on Talaroras cost him big time, and a bonus point win for Team Primal Carnage might just open Group A up a bit. Right, time to update the table, and we'll move on to our next matchup. And I'm quite nervous for this one because it's me. All right. Uh, this is going to be quite a tense match, but in the red corner for Ibuki, we have a Zuni Ceratops. Uh, the purple sheep of the lightning dinosaurs here, we saw what it did to Tor in the first matchup. Uh, it didn't do too much in round two, and hopefully it won't do anything in this matchup. Anyway, in the blue corner for myself, the hosts, the hosts, the champion, we have an Alpha Chasmosaurus. And I'd probably say maybe a little bit of regret about using this guy. I mean, it's good, but I probably would have pref... I wish I had gone with something with a bit more resilience. But, you know, that's, that's, a lesson I, that's a lesson I can take into the next tournament. When there is, if there is one. Oh, uh, yeah, the, the definite key here for the host is... Is to not let Ibuki take a big lead. Yeah, that's a good start from the host. Chasmosaurus gets off the early hit. Yeah, 
Yeah, this, this is why. This is more like it. Unlike the bloody second matchup. That was just, that was just a joke. Oh, my Chasmosaurus was dead by now. A strong, a quick start from the hosts. And the Zuni, but the Zuni Ceratops is guaranteed to do damage here. And a counter blitz coming from the Zuni Ceratops. Could that be what I Buki needed just to steady the ship a little? But yeah, definitely the Chasmosaurus has definitely come flying out of the blocks. Ooh, but despite that counter blitz, the Chasmosaurus gives Stranger a 1 0 lead, and that could be crucial. Up next for Ibuki, we have a Pentaceratops. Honestly, if I was in a situation, even if I was in a situation where I was like 2 0 up and the tri and the Ibuki's third dino was HP was below half, I would still probably lose. I could still lose because of the type disadvantage I'll have when Super Barry comes in. So I, the key for me here is to do as much damage to these di lightning dinosaurs as possible before Barry comes in. So then, oh, I poop, I click scissors. Okay, that's a draw. I'm declaring that a draw. Me and my heavy fingers. Okay, that was really my fault. I'm so sorry, but I'll declare it a draw. Ooh, the Pentaceratops getting off a hit. I boot his first hit of the match. And probably not the last. Ooh, but the Chasmosaurus so still looking impressive. Getting that hit on the Pentaceratops and landing the poison. Along with Electric Charge. Stranger still in a good steps in this match. Ibuki, I'd probably say for the first time in this tournament, struggling a little bit. There's the tie and the poison taking down the Pentaceratops' HP. And another tie, but that will definitely suit Stranger more. Ooh, wow, another tie. This Pentaceratops' HP is getting worn down. Ooh. A Gatlin spell. And just as Stranger had hoped, the Chasmosaurus races in, gives Stranger a 2 0 lead. Wow, things not looking good for Ibuki. But as I said, with that type of advantage Ibuki will have when my Barry comes in, I wouldn't count Ibuki out. Well, it was a slow start from the hosts last time, but they definitely started with a bang. But, do not count Ibuki out. This Super Triceratops could single-handedly win it for them. Okay, the Awaker Mode on three. But this Chasmosaurus is still looking strong. Oh my god, he got a hit! What is this Chasmosaurus doing? Okay, that's once. Okay, I think Chasmosaurus is finally dead, but look at the damage it did! Defeating Zuni Ceratops and Pentaceratops and taking Super Triceratops' HP below half. Anyway, up next for the host, we have the Mega Raptor. Yes, could this beast finish the job for Stranger? Or can I boogie pull it back? Wow, look at that crit. I mean, that's because Mega Raptor is lethal type, so it's crit. So his crit does way more damage. I actually think it's crit might actually do like over 1,000. Ooh, the Triceratops getting off a hit there. Not too much damage dealt. Okay, next round though, it will be awakening time, and that could be what Ibuki need. Just what Ibuki needs. Oh my god, it's a Thunder Driver. And that should be curtains for Mega Raptor. And all of a sudden, after a strong start from the host, Ibuki is in complete control. Oh, oh, never mind. The Mega Raptor survived. And a Dino Illusion as well. Oh, no, Lightning Axe. <laughs> oh, how big could that be, a Lightning Axe? I think that might actually win it for Ibuki because it'll be awakening time after the next hit for Triceratops. And I'm sure an awaken mode hit will one-shot the Barry. Anyway, speaking of dinos, my third dino, the Super Baryonyx. Pretty much the MVP of the team in last round, defeating all of Tor's dinosaurs with relative ease.
Ooh, the Baryonyx does get the hit, but as I said, it is at a tight disadvantage. And it is awakening time for Triceratops. Oh, a big hit from Stranger! A big softening beam stopping Ibuki from landing major damage. And I think that could be it for Ibuki. Okay, that's twice. Yep, that is game over for Ibuki. Oh my, I thought it wasn't going to kill it then. It's like, are you serious? An impressive display by the hosts. Reminding everyone why... Reminding everyone why... One, I'm the champ. And two, I am the best. <laughs> reminding everyone who I am. <laughs> I'm a, a valiant effort for my Buki in the end. But a slow start cost them big time. And a win that I didn't really expect to get. But I'll definitely take that. And I thought, I thought it was going to be a bonus point win. But never mind. Right, time to update the table and we'll move on to our final match. Alrighty then, in this matchup we see Connor Temple going up against Tor. And I feel like this is such a huge match for Tor. Anyway, up first for Connor Temple we have an Anata Titan. A win for Temple here will take them top of Group A. Ooh, that's a big prize. And in the blue corner for Tor we have an Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. I think uh, if Tor doesn't make it through Group A, I feel like the big regret will be that second match against the hosts, where Tor was in complete control. But yeah, this is such a huge game for Tor, for me anyway. De a defeat here, and I'd probably say, I'd say Tor still has a chance, but I think fourth will be the best they get. And. Given how I'm going to sort matchups in the knockout rounds, fourth place is not the best place to be because if you finish fourth, you will have to face the winner, someone who has won a group. But that is a good start from Tor. Acrocanthosaurus getting off the head and getting off a flare sword. So yeah, fourth is well. I mean, you're qualified, but it'll be a tough match <laughs> in theory. Oh, that be a tie. Tor in a strong position so far. A good start from Tor. Although I will say, as a saving grace for Tor, Ultimate since Ultimate did lose that match, that means Well yeah, it means that Tor still has a chance. Even if they lose this match. Well, which they're not so far. Anyway, in the red corner. In the red corner for Temple Second Dino, we have a Giganonosaurus. And look at the power of that Magma Blaster. Could do a serious dent into Tor's HP. I just realized, I think, yeah, if, no, I got Team Primal Carnage next, I think. Uh, we'll have a look at the matchups at the end of the video. But, we'll get back to this match with Tor on top early on. But, last time, Tor was also on top early on, and we all know how that ended. Of course, the saving grace for me is that I have a... Well, Temple also has a water dinosaur in third, so... I wouldn't count Temple out yet, but unlike me, Temple is getting hits off on the Acro. And doesn't have a wind dinosaur to worry about. Ooh, the Acro, though, striking back with a crit. Doom, 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 doom. And remember, this Acro does have Dino Stuffer, so Magma Blaster will not work. As you can see here, that Magma Blaster would have evened the score up for Temple, but the Dino Stuffer came in to stop it from happening. But the Giga does get off a hit, and will Volcano Burst activate? Indeed it will. Well, Tor is still on top in this match, but Connor Temple is fighting back. And this firebomb will finish off the Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. So Tor is still in the lead, but it's not as big as a lead as she had in the second match. 
Anyway, as for Tor's second dino, we have a Vrisiosaurus. A solid dinosaur here. That claw blade could do some damage. I could shred Connor Temple's chances of winning to ribbons. Ooh, that's a tie. But the Giga is still alive and kicking. Ooh, and a firebomb coming from the Giga. Connor Temple pulling this match back. Is it going to happen again for Tor? I think it might happen again for Tor. A big lead squandered, but the Giganonosaurus is going to go down here. Can Tor learn from past mistakes and finish off their opponent instead of letting the opponent back in and winning? Anyway, as for Temple's third dino, we have Dinotector Spinosaurus. Or as I like to call it, the Spinotector. This beast, the MVP of Temple's team, and it and an ultimate water last time did ensure that Temple snatched the win from Ultimate Dino King. So could he do it again? Ooh, the claw bait has been triggered. But the Spino's having none of it. But yeah, look at that advantage. The very had very little damage dealt. Oh wow, <laughs> another hit from Spinal Tector. But again, very little damage dealt. And there's the paper paper type being triggered there, which means the Spinal Tector's next attack will do a lot more damage. <laughs> oh, a big hit there. Ba -ba oh my god, look at it, it's almost full. Oh, a claw blade coming from the fairy. Lots of damage is going to be dealt here. Not good for Temple, but very good for Tor. And a tie bomb as well. Oh, I think Tor's done it. A bonus point win is coming for Tor. And to add insult to injury, a strawberry cake. <laughs> Yeah, look at that, all that health regained, but it will be irrelevant because the Spiner's Tector is going down. And Tor will get a huge bonus point win over Connor Temple. Wow. I feel like this, this round of matches, I feel like has definitely shaped up Group A. Right, time to update the table and we'll end the session. Um, Group A looking very interesting. You still have Ibuki on top with our despite losing and but that crucial bonus point there and then we have myself and connor temple in well joint second because we we have identical records but we haven't played each other yet so we can't really separate them and then we have again for the same reason as i just mentioned tor and primal carnage in joint third and then we have ultimate dino king at the bottom wow that round definitely shook group a up um, let's have a look who's playing next. So next time it'll be myself going up against Team Primal Carnage. Tor going up against Ultimate Dino King. And Connor Temple taking on Ibuki. Wow, huge matches coming up. I mean, if either of these two win, whoever wins out of the, this matchup will guarantee their place in the last 16. If I manage to defeat Team Primal Carnage, I will also guarantee my place in the last 16. And if matchup... And if results go either of these two way, either of these two can guarantee their place in the last 16. But yeah, definitely, I feel like this is the big one for round four, for Group A. Tor taking on Ultimate Dino King. I mean, look how quickly Ultimate Dino King <laughs> slipped down the table. Like he was, I think he was like second like after this, before this round started. And all of a sudden... Oh. But yeah, I it's so, so tight, Group A. Like, look, it's three points between Ultima Dino King and Ibuki. And take note that these two have, have to play each other as well. And I feel like with, with an Earth Dinosaur, Ultima will have a good chance of winning that match. So, wow, Group A is looking 
very, very interesting. The group of death is definitely living up to its expectation. But yeah, I feel like my game with Team Primal Carnage will be important. If I can win that, that will pretty much get my place in the last 32 and then and then I can take the shackles and then the shackles will come off when I play Temple so I won't have to so I won't be under any pressure. But yeah, definitely group A is looking very very tight. Right. Time to end the session, so I hope you enjoyed these matchups and stay tuned for next time where we'll kick off round 3 for group B. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out. <laughs>